Our welcome back. It's Rock Forever. We got a very special guest. You know him and love him as the lead vocalist and multi instrumentalist. He's played with Lone Star, everybody from Uriah Heep and Gary Moore and all of that good stuff. And he's got solo albums galore. And he's got a new one to talk about. Please welcome John Sloman. How are you, John? Hey, how are you doing? Doing great. Uh, quite a uh, long and illustrious career here. And, and you keep going, man. Tell us uh, what keeps inspired you. Where does the music come from that you make? Sorry, I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Okay. Just wondering, after all these years, what keeps you inspired? Where, where does the new music, like the new album here, Two Rivers, where, where does that flow from? Well, that came from um, uh, really, I suppose, it, the, you know, it's the journey inside, really. And um, that's really what it was all about. I, uh, I, I, was, I was born and raised in Wales <clears throat> and uh, in the capital, uh, Cardiff. And uh, I moved to, uh, to London uh, around the time that I joined Heap. And um, ever since then, you know, for the you know, four decades that I've been living in London, uh, I've, I've always had this kind of tug of, tug of uh, love, really, between uh, my, my hometown of Cardiff and, um, and the, the town that I, that I made my home from home, London. Um, and it was always there, you know, this kind of uh, a little bit of a tension where when I was in London, I felt like I should be in Wales. I felt like I was missing something. And, uh, and when I was in uh, Wales, I, I felt like, hang on a minute, maybe I, I should have, should be back in London doing whatever. And, um, and so this was always like a program going on in the background. And um, so this, I guess, kind of reached a, a fever pitch and um, where I felt like I needed to uh, externalize it and, and, and uh, express it on an album. Um, a few years back when uh, my, my brother took ill and um, he'd been living in America for a while. And um, that kind of got me thinking about all the years that I'd been away and uh, all the things that I'd missed through being away from, you know, the town that I'd been, that I was born in. And um, I started to, uh, I guess, gestate a lot of the ideas that became uh, Two Rivers. And, um, you know, you just kind of, it's a psychiatrist couch, isn't it? You know, any kind of uh, creative uh, uh, endeavor. And um, so then when my brother um, unfortunately died and uh, I was, I was, uh, I guess I, bereavement places you in a fairly kind of uh, honest state of mind, you know, and um, honest with yourself and about a lot of the things that, that uh, good and bad that had happened in your life. And so um, I decided I, I needed, I was driven really to do, to do an album and um, uh, basically just say, saying it how it is really about, uh, you know, all the, uh, all the, some, not all, because it would have been a, quite a big album for me to, to express everything, but there were, there were some things I, I needed to make peace with, you know, uh, ex-girlfriends and ex-girlfriends, mothers who'd been wonderful to me when I was a very young man and they were no longer with us and um, I needed to somehow uh, thank them, uh, albeit, uh, across the great divide, you know? Um, so <clears throat> in, the, in the last 20 years, uh, to finally answer your question, it's, um, it's, the, it's the personal things that happen to me um, are the inspiration that, uh, that drives me to, um, to put new albums together. And um, as opposed to, uh, uh, I don't so much listen to other people's music now, um, I, I, not that I don't hear things that I like, because I do, but, uh, but I generally don't go seeking things out. I'll, I'll just do, uh, um, I might play a little bit of uh, stuff from way back when, but, um, but generally, 
I just keep my own counsel now artistically and um, and really just uh, use uh, use whatever's happening in my life uh, for uh, for the raw materials. Yeah, well, I know writing is certainly therapeutic, you know, it gives you an yeah. outlet to yeah, express truly. yourself and what's inside and feels good to come out. And Lord knows you have a lifetime of music to drop on. You don't need to stay in touch with all, all the new stuff. Um, right. The business and, and music has, has changed so much, too, uh, over the years since, you know, you were falling in love with it and, and coming up. What do you miss the most about the, the music business, you know, from the past? I know we had glorious record stores and freeform DJs, even, even though it's probably more prevalent here in the States than in the UK. But, you know, what, what, do, you, what do you miss the most of the evolution of the music business? Um, I, I, back when I, uh, when I was, um, you know, first in what, what was called the old analog, uh, music business. Uh, so from about, I'm talking 70, 77, really, when, when I, when I joined Lone Star, um, up until say the end of the eighties, I, that, that would be my period where I, where I was involved in the, um, old analog, um, music game. Um, I had, uh, I didn't have a lot of good things to say about it. Um, and nor did a lot of the musicians that I'd grown up with. Uh, we, we, we tended to feel that, um, you know, the, 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 the labels, uh, didn't necessarily care about the musicians. And then I, I, I think that's both true and untrue. Now I look back on on, on that as, a, as an older guy. And um, what I what I think, uh, even though the way things have gone with, uh, you know, the, the, the digital uh, uh, music uh, business infrastructure, you know, what with iTunes and what have you, um, you've got uh, a musician has, uh, an artist has more uh, freedom for instance, I can, uh, I don't need to go asking, uh, you know, uh, an A&R man um, what, uh, what, what uh, I should, uh, which, what I should write or what I should record. Um, but uh, what we've lost, I think, is, uh, is there was a focus, that, uh, a focus on, 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 on music uh, that, that uh, I don't feel is there now. Uh, it seems so kind of um, scattered, um, you know, scattered to the four winds, if you like. And um, so I think that's what that's what we we lost when when suddenly everyone started putting their stuff up on uh, up on up on the internet and, and, and all that stuff. And like I say, an, you get amazing. You get freedom. You can do what the hell you like. You can. You can record an album on Monday and put it up on on Wednesday if you want, you know, for for people to hear. But um, but what was lost with with the labels? Um, and I know that there are people out there who are, who are signed to record labels now, of course, you know. Um, but um, that's in the upper echelons of 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 of, uh, of artists, and um, they. Uh, what 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 was lost way back at the end of the eighties, I think, is is just that um, that kind of focus that 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 you would have, and if you found someone that really um, knew what they were talking about uh, musically, but they but they were running a label or you know they were uh, you know an A and R guy, um, it it was uh, it was actually a positive thing. I, I didn't think so at the time because <laughs> I met so many who <laughs> didn't have a clue. Uh, but uh, now looking back and, and I realize um, it's helpful. Uh, for example, you know, the people who I'm involved with now, um, Red Steel Music, they, there is a, a very positive uh, pro music attitude, which uh, uh, I've missed. You know, when I've been um, away from the, 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 the I, from, you know, from labels and stuff like that, I've, I've been very distant from all that. I've just been uh, 
you know, paddling my own canoe. Um, but uh, the, the guys with Red Steel, they, they tend to, uh, to have a very pro music, pro artist um, attitude, which is, uh, which is good, you know? Yeah, if it's in your blood, you know, it, you got to keep it, keep it flowing. And, uh, you know, there's a, you know, a number of record stores still left. But like you say, once the tech companies and the streaming and the yeah. Internet took over, it, it, it became less personal. And, you know, now we're bombarded by music. Like you say, anybody can make it, and put it up, whether it's good or bad or horrible or unfinished, yes. you know, and. It, it makes it harder for the consumer, you know, to, to sort exactly. through it all, to figure yeah, out. Yeah, it's that focus thing again, you know? It, yeah. It, it's, not, it's not focus. Well, the mm-hmm. new album is called Two Rivers. We encourage everybody to check out your Facebook slash John Sloman official and uh, pick it up. And uh, we, we support it. And, and oh, thank uh, you. you know, best of luck to you on this. I appreciate that. Thank you.